I think I, I've obviously made the choice to speak to the public at some level. And it's in part because I enjoy writing and I enjoy be, um, being able to think creatively in different ways. I don't think that any one particular scientist is obliged to do this, to speak to people, but I do think that as a community, um, if we are expecting resources, and it, it's very difficult material, and I think it's important that the information is out there. When I wrote my book, Board Passages, I really had in mind um, an interested audience. I think it's very easy to try to pander to a large audience, not easy, but we, you might try, but, or, or to write technical things for your audience, but there's sort of this in-between um, category of people where they're really smart, really interested, but they just don't know the physics yet. And I think it's important that if they want to know what we're doing and why it's important and what the full implications are, that that information is out there in a way that they can access. And I, I just think generally it's important to be able to communicate um, um, among different fields. And um, we live in an era where science is important to the decisions we make. Um, is uh, what happens at the LHC going to determine our policy tomorrow? Not necessarily, but being able to think like a scientist at some level will. Being able to th think about um, predictions and risk and probabilities. There are some basic tri science training that might help people, but there's also just under curiosity about the world, which everyone has, and understanding why we care about these questions, what it is we're looking for, that why it's going to tell us these deep fundamental um, uh, properties of the universe at both the small scales and the large scales, scales that we can't directly access just by looking, that we need technology for, and saying um, what is it that we're after. And I think those are a lot of people want to know that, and it's important that they have access to that information.